I'm Isabella Bongiorno, and I'll be talking about phytoremediation. I first learned about phytoremediation in my forest management class, which is also where I learned about my love for ecology. My teacher was talking about how he was working in a place with a lot of salt, a salt flat, where the soil just has so much salt that nothing can survive. And the sun was unhindered, so it beat down on the soil and nothing would grow there. So what he did was he started planting acacia trees. And acacia trees love salt. They're, they just soak it up. So they actually took it out of the system. So with that salt gone, and now the soil was shaded, all of these other plant communities could come up. And it started to look like a really productive system. This process is known as phytoremediation. So using plants to remediate a uh, overabundance of something in the soil, whether it be salt or more likely heavy metals. Heavy metal contamination comes from things like resource extraction or dangerous spills. So what happens is you have a plant and usually plants take up metals anyways, very small amounts of things like calcium because they need it for development. But what these plants do, they're called hyperaccumulators, they actually take a ton of metal that's in the system and sequester it so it's not toxic to them. What they do is in the roots, they do what's called adsorption, not absorption, adsorption, where they bind a nutrient particle that's already going up into the plant with a metal particle. And they take it up through the xylem to the cell wall, which in a process we don't clearly understand yet, um, actually detoxifies the metal. And then they store it in the plant tissue um, in places like the mesophyll, which has chlorophyll, which causes uh, plants to be green, or in places like vacuoles, which are just membrane sacs filled with nutrients and water. And in this way, they take all the contaminants out of the system. More often than not, these polluted and contaminated systems are found in developing countries, and they can be really hazardous to human health, sometimes causing cancer. Um, organizations like the United Nations Environmental Program are working to make phytoremediation much more common so that we can take these uninhabitable systems and make them habitable for both plants and humans.